All right, so in this video, we're gonna look at a position versus time graph and try to get a story from it. So like most stories, you know, we're reading left to right, so we're gonna start at the beginning, at the beginning of time here, at least when we're starting to measure time, time zero. So we look at this first segment and say, okay, what is happening here? And so first thing we notice is that the slope is not zero, so they're moving. So we know they're moving, and in what direction are they moving? Well, the slope is positive, so that means they're moving to the right. So this first segment, we know they're moving right, because the slope is positive. And we can also find the speed at which they're moving if we want by finding the slope. So if I find the slope of this, it goes up four and over four. So that's a slope of four divided by four or one. So they're moving right at one meter per second. So that is the story, what we've got here. The second segment is from here to here. And at this point, it's perfectly flat. So on a position versus time graph, a flat line means you're not moving. You have a velocity of zero. So here they've stopped. So they've stopped, and if we want to figure how long they've stopped for, they started from here, they stopped from here to here, so that's about four seconds. So they've stopped for four seconds. And now we can look at the last part of this graph, and they're moving again because their slope is no longer zero. The slope is positive, it's moving up and to the right. So again, we know they're moving right. And if we want more specific, we can figure out their velocity by finding the slope. So it's a rise of two and a run of one. So two divided by one is two. So now they're moving right at two meters per second. So they're actually moving faster here than they were here, it's steeper. So they're moving at one meter per second, they've stopped. Now they're moving at two meters per second to the right. So that's our story. Let's look at another one. So again, we read from left to right, we start here. What's happening first? They're moving, again, the slope's not zero, but this slope is negative. So the first segment, they are moving left because the slope is negative. It's down and to the right. Again, if I want to find the exact speed, I can find the slope. So this drops, uh, it's got a rise of negative one and a run of one. So negative one over one is negative one. So they're moving left at one meter per second. Um, I don't say they're moving left at negative one. The fact that I'm writing left, that covers that. But their velocity, if we want to be technical, is negative one. So anyway, they're moving left. Then here, again, they flatline the position versus time, the, the slope is zero. So they've stopped. And again, they've stopped for, in this case, one, two, three, four, five seconds, if we want to be specific. And now three, now the slope is positive. And so now they're moving right because the slope is positive. And if we kept calculate this, it's a rise of one, it's a run of one they're moving at one meter per second. So they're moving at the same speed in these two segments. It's just in the first segment, they're moving left. In this segment, they're moving right because the sign of the slopes are different. Let's do one last one here. All right, so what's happening here? So at the beginning, again, we always read from left to right. That's where time is zero. There's no motion because the slope is zero. So step one, they've, they've stopped. They're just maybe standing there. And now all of a sudden we have a slope, it is negative. So they're moving left because the slope is negative. And again, I can calculate the speed. Um, this is dropping by four, and then it's going over three. So this is negative four, and it goes three. So the slope is negative four divided by three. So negative four thirds, if I wanna change it to a decimal, it's negative 1.33. So their velocity is negative 1.33 meters per second. Um, so they're moving left at negative, they're moving left at 1.33 meters per second. Then once again, it's stopped, so it's flat, so they've stopped. So again, that's sort of how we interpret a story from this. We always start on the left side of the graph and read, um, again, like a book here from left to right, and we just pay attention to the slope, and the slope tells the story on a position versus time graph. So anyway, hopefully that helps. Um, use these, quiz, uh, these videos to help you do that quiz to really make sure you understand it. But until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.